All right, welcome back everyone. You're watching the Rhythmix RSL3. Uh, this is our first match of the day, a best of five between Thorzen and White Rye. Thorzen is now up with 2-1. Uh, he won two very convincing games. The one that he lost, he did not play really well in. And uh, we're gonna be playing in the fourth map on GSL Whirlwind. Uh, I have no idea why White Rye picked this map. I guess you can expand sort of easily and since it's really big it makes all in weaker uh, so if you like macro games this is actually a pretty cool map for pvt i mean i'm just sort of theory crafting in my head by myself here right now and uh this is what i'm feeling about this map and uh, i did ask cats to come and cast with me but he says he has to go shower before he plays because he's going to be playing right after the series against either one of them, Thorzen or Whitera. And a Whitera, he, what is he doing? He's scouting after Pylon. Is that a ten scout? No, it's nine scout. I'm not sure why, but Whitera is nine scouting in this game. Maybe he wants to go for the double nexus if he spots a command center first. Thorzen with the supply depot behind his mineral line here. No pointers as to what he's going to do after this so far. And Whitera is going to be very lucky here because he's going to scout Thorzen. Uh, the first position he scouts for. Oh. He tried to hide. Okay, I thought he was going to try to hide that he scouted. That would have been some heavy meta game. And Thorzen is actually going for the command center first here. Whitera, he spots that there is no barracks being made. You can just count those SCVs and kind of know that there is no barracks. And uh, I think he's just going to go maybe for one Nexus, followed by one Gate, maybe another Nexus very quickly here. But since it's... I mean, it's not... You cannot really call it close positions, just because the distance is, I guess, really far for, from one base to another. But uh, it's not cross-map either. Cross-map would have been way better for White Run if he wanted to play greedy. White Run going for the 17 Nexus here. He's sending out another probe. What are you doing? Oh, I think he wants to harass with two probes here. He realizes that since there is a command center first, he can just use two probes and uh, regenerate those shields as much as possible and then keep doing damage to those SCVs, maybe kill one of them and maybe delay this command center a lot. More than what White Rai is losing mineral wise uh, for not being mining right now. Thorzen has to be careful taking a lot of damage on these SCVs. He's gonna pull three more. And uh, he's actually going to send the injured ones, at least, oh, okay. he's kept them here, oh! One of the probes died, the other one is at half HP right now, chasing down this one SCV with 6 HPs. I think if White Rack goes for us, he's going to lose his probe and not even kill the SCV. Did he spot the gas? He did spot the gas. So White Rack going for a standard build behind, it's a gate, followed by a gas, oh, this SCV, 5 HP. Is it? Oh, and White Rock gets it, so finally, this finally paying off a bit here for White Rock. But uh, I really like that White Rock saw that uh, gas here, because this is big info. I think Thorzen sh should actually have taken this one, just because it's further away, it's harder to scout. You see, White Rock just came here to fight some of those SCVs, he didn't even mean to scout the gas, and then he saw it. So he's going to be able to adapt. Uh, from there, he's not gonna make the same mistake as on Ohana, and uh, he's gonna have two gates very early on here, so his warp gate should be done way before it was uh, last time. I mean, his warp gate lined up with his gates, and this is a lot taking out some anger on this neutral supply depot. A bunker was made, 4000 here, and uh, we're gonna see Hellions, reactor the Hellions. From Thorzen here, followed by a second factory, so he really wants to play mech. Here I was saying that Thorzen is a Warcraft player, he's playing Brood War in this series actually. Nice building up the Warcraft account here. From Thorzen, he's adding one more factory and a tech lab on his barracks. So I'm guessing he's gonna follow uh, those aliens up with siege tanks, but is he gonna get blue flame first or is he gonna get siege tank first? That's the question. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for blue flame here because he's feeling very safe right now in this game. Uh, he did scout 
what White Rye exactly had just now. And uh, he has this one bunker, he's even gonna add another one, but he has only one Marine. Thousand's playing a bit weird. Twilight Council being made here by White Rye as well as a Forge, and I really like this. Uh, I really think that Twilight play is much better than Robotics Bay play uh, against Mech, just because you can get Zealots, Chargelots and Archons, you can do a lot of stuff, you can drop, you can try to force the turn out of position, and uh, dealing with those Archons without Ghost, good luck with that, even with Mech. Whereas if you play Colossus, I mean he has Siege Tanks, he can just Siege, wait until he has enough Vikings if he wants to, and this is going to be that much harder. And Whitera going for the quick third Nexus here. I really like this pylon positioning. If any Medivac was to fly through here, uh, Whitera would spot it immediately. And that's what's going on through his mind right now, because he's even adding a cannon here. This is going to defend against Medivacs or any kind of Hellion run by. But uh, I'm surprised that Whitera does not add more gates right now. And his gas is that is natural. He's waiting a bit more. He's waiting a pretty long time to do it. And uh, Thorzin. He's actually researching Siege first, not Blue Flame. And we're gonna have a third factory made here by Thorzin. He's keeping his barracks in his main, so he's gonna keep using these barracks to make add-ons for his upcoming factories, adding two more factories now. So he's gonna go up to five factories on two bases. We don't have a third command center being made here. So we might just have some kind of really big push here by Thorzin. And White Rye, in the meantime, is not resting. He keeps on making probes. He has his third on the way. He's gonna transfer probes there. And he's going to go for a lot of charge lots, as well as Archons. So yeah, like I said before, uh, I think this is an ideal situation for White Rider right now. I would even like to see two armor being researched uh, after the, the one armor, instead of the one attack. White Rider does see those units moving out now. Oh, he has to be very careful. He has only one force field here. He's going to use it immediately with the Hellions. They're going to just... Attack the Zealots, kill a whole bunch of them, they're gonna get a sentry as well. And uh, I mean Thorzen is trading decently here, but this is, this is not the best as well, just because he's losing those Hellions. Oh, he's gonna go behind the mineral line, big shot here! Killing 9 probes in total, well, I guess he did lose all of the Hellions after, but... I mean Thorzen had to make something like this happen, because if he hadn't, uh, and he waits 3 more minutes, this is just gonna be so much money. So now he got 9 probes total, and a uh, white ra. He's barely gonna be enough saturated as his natural. I guess he had a lot of probes in the main, so he's gonna transfer those in the third base. And uh, uh, White Rider now just looking to make as many Zealots and Archons as he possibly can. He's not researching Storm, he's making plus one attack after the one armor. He's gonna send out those Stalkers to be able to spot when Thorzin moves out. Then he realizes he's just gonna lose them, most likely if a lot of Hellions move out, so he just goes back a bit here, but uh, on this map it's actually very hard to scout, he's not even taking the middle. And Thorsen right now is moving out with a lot of SCVs. Let's see the army supply here, 59 to 38. White tries to make as many units as possible right now. If he doesn't, he's just gonna lose this game right there and then. If he had four Archons against this army, they would do very good, but he has only one right now. Oh, he's gonna get a second one on time, most likely. And Thorzen is right now is waiting for Blue Flame, he's gonna siege those tanks here. But uh, they're all gonna be clumped up, there is no Immortal. That's the only good thing Thorzen has going for him in this game, but... Yeah, those Zealous Archons, they're gonna be great against this composition. And uh, White Rat going for the flank here. Thorzen is gonna have to realize that. Looking at the game with Thorzen's view right now, he's being flanked from everywhere. He chooses not to siege those tanks. He's trying to get rid of all those units in a straight up fight. Those Archons doing great work here, tanking damage and dealing a lot of it as well. And a uh, White Rider, I think he might have done it here. He's held his attack just because he had so many gates. Like I said, Archons are very good against this kind of style. White Rider is 1 1 upgrade as well, with 0 0. And Thorzen right now, he has to make a choice. Does he keep going with this? Does he pull back and take an expansion? I think he's already kind of committed just because he's made those factories, he sent some SCVs out, he's lost a lot of them and he realizes that White Rider, he has a third and he has a lot of probes right now so Thorzen has to finish him now because if he pulls back uh, it will be inevitable for him to lose. So he's gonna try to go through with it but I would really like to see a couple more SCVs being pulled, maybe even all of them. That will be about Thorzen's only chance right now in this game. Thorzen moving forward into the third base of White Rider right now. White Rider 
Uh, he has a lot of stalkers, but those are not going to be too great against tanks and Hellions. Uh, finally warping a couple of Zealots here. Uh, he really needs a couple of uh, Archons into this mix to tank against those units. Thousand third stepping with tanks, but uh, yeah, obviously this is not bio. Some of them are going to die while pulling back. And there we go, finally he's putting a couple more SCVs. And uh, they're actually carrying minerals. That's uh, a bit of a mistake. Should always send them back to the command center first, return the money. And White Rider is moving in now, right? He realized that a thousand was in siege, so he just moves in. He's gonna put this immortal on those tanks, and I think this is gonna be it. White Rider is just way too much. He's resupplying his army with his eight gates. Uh, so that's eight units by eight units, plus those immortals coming out all the time, being chrono boosted out. White Rider with the very nice hole here, bringing the score up to 2-2. Two, two.